Do not obey. All right, guys, so let's jump right back into Japanese urban legends. Let's get into the cursed poem. Now, this was a poem that was written back in 1919 after Saijo, S-A-I-J-O, y'all know be messing up words, lost his family during World War I. Now, the verse tells of a child who descends into hell and it includes frightening and disturbing imageries from what the child seen. Now, a lot is left, they say, to interpretation, to the reader. It is also believed to be about a child who was murdered, guys, by their parents. And others say it's about war or child abuse. But being murdered by your parents and child abuse, that's the same damn thing to me, but okay. Now, they say if you read this poem out loud, people have... People have claimed now that it causes them illnesses, headaches, um, and even death, okay? Now, in 1974, there was a movie released, and later the director died. And that kind of reminds me of Poltergeist, because the people that made that Poltergeist movie, the Indian guy, um, I think some of the producers, the mother, the, the little girl, Carol Ann, they said they all passed too, and it was a curse on that movie as well. Um, from what they were doing and where they were recording the um, the movie. You know, like when I say what they were doing, like what they were talking about. So I don't know if they disturbed the spirits or whatnot, but this kind of makes me think about that. Um, so the director did die, and it said it was due to liver disease, and that's what supposedly sparked the rumors up for, um, you know, oh, this is a cursed movie. I'll leave um, either above or maybe at the end of this uh, some of the poem. I'm not going to read it out loud because I'm just saying. I ain't trying to test ish out for nobody here on YouTube, okay? I'm all, I already went down the road, almost got right for Jesus because I had the O. So I'm trying to get away from anything taking me to the light right now, okay? <laughs> but I'm being serious. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And like I always say, guys, do not obey. Stay woke. Peace.